Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel and thank you for all the good comments that you left on my previous video and I'm sorry for not uploading any content for the last, I don't know, couple of weeks or so. And today's video will be about answering uh, questions, one of the questions actually I got in my, um, my videos. I'm trying to answer as much as I can because honestly I'm so busy these days and especially I'm not using Bootstrap in my work. So I'm doing something else other than boost, other than PrestaShop, sorry, in my work. So it's a, it's a bit sometimes hard really to control things between YouTube and between your, uh, your, let's say, your daily job. Okay, so we have a question here from Mr. Daniel Peterson. Let me make this slightly bigger. So he's, he's basically the question is about um, that he's, he did install 1.767 version of PrestaShop and it came with a Bootstrap Alpha. That's... It's kind of like I really hate pretty much everything that is alpha. So this um, video, this video is actually an answer for him and for anybody who would like to do such things. Uh, actually, I have more questions to answer coming up, so please just give me a bit of time. So to solve this problem, you simply need to go to the official repo of PrestaShop here as, and just clone it somewhere else in your uh, machine or on a server. Uh, and you need to have to actually copy this folder here that is underscore dev that is under the classic themes and simply paste it inside your um, your application or let's say your oh, website directory and classic theme or your main theme whatever theme you, are, you would like to use and from there you need to update your package.json here so by default it will be something like this 4.00 alpha something like that you simply need to update this to whatever version you need to install instead of the other versions and after that you need to do an npm install just to install the node modules here that you can compile your assets and just run the npm run watch so here I can I quickly set up my environment it's not really stable here but anyway so here as I said I did the npm install I updated the package.json here and simply npm run watch will do the work all right so npm run watch will compile everything together and it will update your template with the new um, the new version of bootstrap or your specific version of bootstrap Okay, so here, as I said, it's not really well compiled, well set up, because I quickly set up this environment simply to answer this question. So uh, that was a quick video. Hopefully this will be uh, useful for somebody out there. Again, if you like this video, please, please go ahead and leave a good comment. Give a thumb up. Subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed. I believe a lot of people missed my playlist about creating... Uh, a theme for a beginner guide for creating a theme for PrestaShop. Please go ahead and watch that video, that series of video actually. Thank you for watching. See you in the coming video and peace.